I've got it marked out and I've got space over here to take my last baffle. Now these guys are longer because these are guys that have come up to form your wings. Plus you got fudge factor because you're going to roll over and run a cord down. So, at this point, we have five baffles pinned down, and I can double check that they're pretty much over the lines, so that's good. And we went with the outer layer, outer, um, because this has enough slack that I can come up and do the edges, and then when I bring this one down, I don't have to worry about down creeping across baffles. Now, most of the descriptions you're going to find online for baffle material suggest you use mesh. They're probably right. I don't know. I don't have spare mesh. So, I've got 1.1 ounce. That's what I'm using. Next round, maybe I'll use mesh. So now we've rolled our hems for the first layer for the baffles. We're going to sew all of those, then we're going to come back and do the top layer. That's going to be the challenging part. When you've turned the corner on the baffle, and you've brought it up the side of the outer shell, pay attention to your line. You only want a 3 inch high baffle, in my case yours might be shorter if you're doing a summer weight, or longer if you're doing a full blown winter weight. But make sure you stop short, so you should have an inch, and you should still be heading towards the line. Back up, go forward, seal it off. Okay, now at this point, we've got, you could say, kind of the bed laid. You've got the outer shell, your five baffles, okay, and notice they're already tacked up on the side. I'm trying to see if I can learn from something that Grizz talked about. Um, that's Professor Hammock on YouTube, uh, Grizzly Adams on Hammock Forums. Um, basically, he didn't do this when he did his and said coming back later, it was challenging. So I'm doing it now. We've rolled the hem for the top part of the baffle so that when it's time to tack it onto the inner layer, it's already rolled and that should simplify things. I can run it down. We'll seal the ends. We're going to leave a channel so that I can run shock cord this way on the outside edge we've got extra so we'll be able to roll a channel as well for shock cord that way okay so now what we're going to do is we've got the middle baffle lined up with outer layer here and so I need to make sure that the gap here matches the gap all the way down over here Okay, so now we have our four main baffles it's still open on both ends. So at this point, I'm going to run shock cord down the side, and I'm just going to pin it so that I have the two rolled hems touching, and that should give me enough space for my shock cord to sit outside my foot. Um, so I won't break any needles, and I won't have to go through the hassle of running the shock cord later. Um, and that will just set my distance for the side, and then my side baffles are done. Then I can close the head baffles. Okay, at this point, 
we are we've already pinned um, the two side walls together with our shock cord running through it. Shock cord sits right next to the foot. Just be careful you don't pull it in. As long as it's outside the foot, you're not going to break anything. Just feed it slow, seal it up good. At this point, I'm ready to seal one end or the other. This is the head end, you can tell it's wider. This is the foot end, it's narrower. I think it's going to be easier to stuff down into the wider end than the narrow end. So I'm going to seal this one first, go into a tent, stuff this one with down, then seal it. Now I'm going to run the shock cord along the end. And here I realize a mistake. Because my outer shell is much, much wider than my inner shell, I'm getting this scalloping. So I would have been better off um, Cross grain, grow grain, I guess is how it's pronounced, um, or just cutting a band to run if aesthetics matter. If aesthetics don't matter, good enough. So we have sealed off the end, now I'm going to roll the edge with shot cord in it, and then once I have that done, both sides, both ends will have shot cord, which should help me adjust, and then I can uh, get the down that's mostly at that end evened out.